Alright, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be giving my MLB DraftKings picks for Thursday, August 10th. Um, for today, on this Thursday slate, we got a 10-game main slate. Looking at pitching today, uh, pitching is really strong up top. We have a lot of good uh, studs, a lot of good aces that you want to pay up for today. Uh, but there are like hardly any mid-tier and value pitchers today. Uh, so I think you might really want to spend on pitcher today. I think that's the way I'm going to be going. I'm going to be spinning up. Uh, for both of my pitchers, and then just really going for the value bats. Um, just looking through the mid-range, the SP2s, I don't really see any guys I like. Um, from Peacock down, uh, I think people might play Zach Davies uh, at home against Minnesota, but I don't really trust Davies, uh, and I'm not going to pay 8400 for him when I can just get Peacock against the White Sox for just a little bit more. Uh, I think Davies would be one guy people might target. Uh, Tanner Roark might be a guy people target, but I don't really trust him, especially not... Uh, against Miami, they do have some really good bats in that lineup. Uh, Giancarlo's been crushing the ball. Yelich hits righties well. D. Gordon's pretty good against righties. Uh, so there are good bats in that lineup. I don't trust Rourke. And I think the other guy that people might play uh, is Wade Miley against Oakland. But I really don't trust Wade Miley. I've never rostered him, and I'm definitely not going to start today. So I think all these SB2s, all these mid-range and cheap guys, uh, I just don't, I don't really trust any of these guys. Uh, so I'm going to be paying up for both of my pitchers today, uh, really spending a lot at pitcher and then going for value bats. So the first pitcher that I want to pay up for today, um, up top we got Jacob DeGrom. I really do like DeGrom against the Phillies. He has a great strikeout uh, matchup. The Phillies, uh, they do strike out a ton versus right-handed pitching. Uh, but I'm going to be taking a little bit of a discount off of DeGrom, a uh, $1,000 discount. Um, I absolutely love Danny Salazar today, getting a matchup against the Rays. This is a really good spot for Salazar. Uh, pitching at Tampa Bay, a good pitcher's park is going to help Salazar out a ton. Uh, and He's in a great spot here to get a ton of strikeouts. This Rays team, they do strike out a ton versus right-handed pitching. Um, they strike out third most in the league, striking out 25% of the time. It does scare me, though, that this Rays team, they are pretty good against righties. They, they're hitting a 254 average and a 327 Woba, which uh, is towards the top of the league. But in Tampa Bay, a pitcher's park, uh, I think that will ne negotiate some of that power. That is a good park to pitch in. And Salazar has an insane history against this team. Uh, I was looking through his PVB. Uh, and he, the Rays have seen Salazar 44 times. Uh, and in those 44 at-bats, they only have 7 hits. Uh, and in those 44 at-bats, uh, Salazar has gotten 22 strikeouts. So when he's faced this team in those 44 at-bats, he has a 50% K rate. Uh, so Salazar has done crazy against this team in the past. I think he's going to have a great game today. Uh, this dude has great upside. He's looked really sharp uh, ever since coming off the DL. Um, in his three games back off the DL, he's put out 31, 26, and 33 DraftKings points. Um, got eight strikeouts against Toronto, eight against the White Sox, got 12 against the Yankees. Um, so Salazar ha has looked really good this year ever since coming back from the DL. And Salazar does have great strikeout stuff. So I uh, love Salazar today as my SP1. Uh, he has really good upside in this spot. So I like locking in Salazar as my SP1 today for 11.7. And then for my SP2, uh, going to be going uh, just a little bit less than 10K. Like I said, I think people might look towards Zach Davies today at 8,400. Uh, but I don't want to pay 8,400 for Zach Davies when I can get Brad Peacock uh, for just a little bit more, getting a matchup against the White Sox. This is such a great spot um, for Brad Peacock to get some strikeouts. Uh, this White Sox team, they have been striking out a ton that, uh, as of late versus right-handed pitching. And Peacock is a great strikeout pitcher. Uh, this guy has swing and miss stuff. I believe he has like one of the highest uh, swing and strike rates in the majors. So he gets a lot of swings and misses. Uh, he gets a lot of batters to chase. And this White Sox team will definitely chase. They are a team that will strike out, especially versus righties. So I really like uh, Brad Peacock today at just 9,500. Uh, he has looked really bad as of late. He's had three pretty bad games against Philly, Detroit, and Toronto. But he's definitely in a great spot here to bounce back. Uh, this White Sox team, they're just not good. If you just look through their their projected lineup today, it's pretty gross. Uh, looking through it, Louis Garcia, uh, not a good hitter. Moncada is a good prospect, but he's kind of struggled this year. Jose Abreu, kind of do have to worry about. But um, all these guys, they do have uh, crazy high strikeout rates, especially versus righties. A ton of these guys have over 20 to 25% K rates. Uh, so this is a great spot for Brad Peacock. He's a heavy, heavy favorite at minus 197. Uh, you know this Astros lineup, they're going to give him some run support. Seems like they're scoring a ton of runs every night. So Peacock's in a great spot to get a win as well. Get you those four extra DraftKings points to go along 
with a ton of strikeouts I see him getting today. So I like spinning up for my SP2 today uh, with Brad Peacock at 9,500. When we plug in Salazar and Peacock as our two pitchers, that only leaves us 3,600 remaining per player. Uh, so all three of my hitters are going to be value bats. Uh, I'm still going to give you some hitters that you can use uh, so you can build around this five. Don't want to leave you just no salary. Definitely want to leave you some salary that you can work with. So the first guy that I like for value is at first base. A uh, good value play today. A guy that's just way too cheap um, is Chris Davis. Uh, just 3K um, getting a matchup against Chris Smith. Now DraftKings has Paul Blackburn listed as a starter, but I'm seeing that Chris Smith's going to be starting today. Uh, so Davis should be going up against Chris Smith. And this guy's a pretty average pitcher. Uh, he, hadn't been get, he hadn't been getting absolutely crushed this year, but he hadn't really pitched much uh, so far this year. Uh, I was looking at his career numbers. His career numbers are decent, I guess. A uh, 322 Woba to lefties. Uh, he does manage to limit the home runs a little bit. A 1.29 home run per nine to lefties. Uh, but he only has a 16% K rate versus lefties. On a high walk rate, 13.4% walk rate. Uh, so he does walk a lot of, or over his career, he has walked a ton of lefties. Uh, he doesn't have a high K rate versus lefties either, which is uh, good for Chris Davis. Chris Davis is a guy that will strike out. But since Chris Smith has a low K rate, uh, Davis should have a good chance to put the ball in play. Uh, when lefties are putting the ball in play against Chris Smith, it's not a ton of hard contact, mostly just medium contact. 53.2% uh, medium contact, 29.5% hard contact. But that's not going to keep me off of Davis here today, especially at his price of just 3K. Um, since we did pay up for those two pitchers, going to need some value bats. And this Orioles team still has a pretty high total today at 4.8 runs. So Vegas is expecting Chris Smith to struggle here, and I definitely think he is. Not really that good of a pitcher, so I'm going to be picking on, picking on him today with Chris Davis uh, for some first base value. Love his price tag at just 3K. Um, and then my next play, we're going to be going to shortstop. Uh, another value play I like today is Marcus Simeon um, at just 3,400, getting a matchup against Wade Miley. Marcus Simeon is in a great spot here against Wade Miley. Uh, Wade Miley, the dude, is just not a good pitcher. Uh, he's been getting, he's been really struggling against righties this year. Um, so far to right-handed hitters, Miley has allowed a 376 WOBA. Uh, he's also allowed a lot of home runs to righties, a 1.64 um, home run per nine to right-handed hitters. Uh, Miley also has been walking a lot of batters, especially righties, a 12.2% walk rate to righties. So Simeon will have a really good chance uh, to get on base and will be able to rack up some fantasy points. And along with the high walk rate and a lot of home runs, uh, Wade Miley's also been getting up a lot of hard contact to righties, 49.3% uh, medium contact and 34.2% hard contact. Um, so Marcus Simeon's in a great spot here. And for just 3400 absolutely love that price tag. Uh, Simeon's a guy that does hit lefties very well, so he's in a good spot here. And at just 3400 I love that price tag for some value. Uh, so we can really spend up for those two pitchers. Simeon uh, does free us up some salary to where we can afford those two guys. And then for my final play, uh, we're going to be going to the outfield. Uh, another value play, obviously, uh, is going to be Eric Thames at just 3800 getting a matchup against Kyle Gibson. I really like Eric Thames today. Um, he is in a really good spot here against Kyle Gibson. Um, Kyle Gibson, just not a good pitcher. He's been getting absolutely crushed by lefties this year and been giving up a lot of home runs and a lot of hard contact. Uh, so far this year to lefties, Gibson's allowed a 384 Woba. And then to lefties, a lot of home runs, a 1.45 home run per nine to left-handed hitters. And this game will be played in Miller Park, uh, which is a great hitter's park. Uh, Gibson, I'm definitely going to expect him to give up some home runs here. If there is one thing that Eric Thames does struggle with, it is striking out. Uh, but uh, Kyle Gibson only has a 12.9% K rate versus lefty, so uh, the dude doesn't strike anybody out. He gives up a lot of hard contact as well, 51.2% uh, medium contact and 35.5% hard contact, hardly any soft contact. So when batters or when lefties are putting the ball in play against Kyle Gibson, it's a lot of medium and hard contact, a lot of line drives, uh, which is great for Eric Thames. When he puts the bat on the ball, it will go a long ways. It will go over the fence. So I really like Eric Thames today as someone that we can consider uh, for value at outfield or first base. He does have uh, multi-position eligibility. So like Eric Thames for 3800 today. And yeah, so these are my five plays for tonight. Uh, I went with Danny Salazar, Brad Peacock, Chris Davis, Marcus Simeon, and Eric Thames. Uh, when we plug these five guys in our, in our lineup, that still leaves us 37.20 per player, uh, which is decent. We can definitely work around. Um, I was looking through some cheap stacks that we could target today. Uh, one of the cheap stacks I like 
uh, is the righties for Oakland. Uh, Simeon, obviously, really like Chris Davis. He's only 4'2". Ryan Healy, absolutely love him. If you need a value play to fill out around the 5, he's only 3.5. So uh, Oakland was a team I was looking at for cheap value. Uh, the Brewers against Kyle Gibson, love them. They're really cheap besides, pretty much besides Braun and Shaw. A lot of cheap bats throughout that lineup. So there are definitely some cheap bats that we can target today to where we can definitely build around this five and we can pin, or we can spend up for our, both of our pitchers. So yeah, you can make your own lineup um, built around this five. Um, or if you want to get my full lineups, then be sure to follow me on Twitter at the DFS underscore GOAT. My lineups are $5 a day, or you can get a week of lineups for $25. So message me on Twitter if you are interested in that. Um, or if you just have any questions about the slate or you need to ask me something, I'm always on Twitter. So if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up at the DFS underscore GOAT. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like the video and subscribe if you enjoyed. If this is your first time on my channel, please be sure to subscribe. I do upload these videos uh, pretty much every day. I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe. And if you never want to miss out on any videos, uh, if you actually scroll down to where the subscribe button is, there is a little bell icon. If you click that bell, that will actually notify you every time I upload. So be sure to do that as well if you never want to miss out on any videos. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Uh, good luck tonight, guys. Peace.